having a really good week this week. So this week I was inspired by images on Cricut and I kept seeing this image of a volcano and it said, um, I lava you. And it got me to thinking, I thought, let's see if we can create a volcano card. So this is what I came up with. So here's the front. And I just love this little tropical scene we have going on here. And then we open it up and we have a volcano, guys. Isn't that so cool? All week long in the new images, I kept seeing the volcano. I thought, man, can we create that? And I kept thinking about it and thinking about it. And this is what I came up with. And it just says, I lava you. And of course, we can put it down. And then we have a place to write a message here. And I love the smoke of how it is coming out. And it just shuts right up. So let's go ahead and head over to Design Space and we'll get started on making this card. So I'll see you there. Okay guys, now that we are over here in Design Space, these are the two images that we will be using um, this week to make the card. So if you want to jot the number down and go over here to images and get that, then we can go ahead and get started. So, okay, the first two pieces um, we've made before, once you get it and copy it and move it over to your new canvas, all you're going to do is resize it to 4.193 by 2.879. Then you can just right click, duplicate, and you'll have both of those pieces. We're going to do this again today. So let's get a square. And once we get the square, we want to resize it to 3.893. And in height, we're going to make it 2.676. Then once we have that, we're going to go to shapes and get a score line. We are going to turn that score line into a basic cut line. So go up to operation, change it to a basic cut. We are going to score line to 1.217. We are going to put the X at 1.831 and the Y at 1.46. Then we are going to right click, duplicate. We're going to resize it to 0.635 in height. We're going to rotate it 353.96 degrees. The X we're going to place at 0.867 and the Y at 2.057. Then we're going to right click, duplicate. We're going to resize it to 1.221 in height. We're going to rotate it 29.42 degrees. The X will be at 0.866. The Y at 0.987. Then we're going to right click, duplicate. We're going to make that line 1.217 in height. Rotate it 270 degrees. The X we're going to place at 0.249, the Y at 0.973. Then we're going to right click, duplicate, and we're just going to go across and make this line. It's going to be the same in height. We're going to rotate it 270 degrees. The X will be at 0.249 and the Y at 0.304. Then we can right click, duplicate, we're going to resize that to 0.238, we're going to rotate it 70.51 degrees, the X we're going to place at 0.024, the Y at 0.308. Then we're going to right click, 
duplicate. We are going to make this 0.264 in height. We're going to rotate it to 189.49 degrees. The X is at 0 and the Y is at 0.887. Then we can right click, duplicate. We're going to go back up to operations and we're going to change it to a score line. We are going to rotate that score line back to zero. We are going to make that score line 0 0.581 in height. We're going to place the X at 0 0.249 and the Y at 0 0.338. Then we're going to right click, duplicate. It's still the same height, 0 0.581. We're going to Place the X at 1.466 and the Y at 0 .304. Then we're going to right click, duplicate. We're going to make that 0.939 in height. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees. We're going to place the X at 0.891 and the Y at 2.036. Now we have this whole side made. So I like to move my box out of the way again. And then we're just going to grab it all. Go over and hit group. Then we can move our square back up. Again, we want to make sure the X and the Y is on zero. Then we're going to click on the lines we just grouped together. <coughs> Excuse me. Then we're going to right click, duplicate. Then we're going to go up to flip. Flip horizontal. Now I just want you to move it off of the square, okay? Then we're going to go over to ungroup. For this side, we do not need this slanted line, so we're going to get rid of that. We don't need this square line, so we're going to get rid of that. And we don't need this slanted line, so let's get rid of that. So this is what you should have left. So I want you to grab it all and then go back and hit group again. Okay, this we are going to place at the X at 2.319 and the Y at 0. Now that we have all of this made, let's go up to shapes and get a score line. Let's rotate that score line. 90 degrees. Then we are going to resize that score line to 1.149. The X we are going to put at 1.526 and the Y at 3. I'm sorry, the Y is going to be at 0.304. And then it should place it right up here at the top. Then we're going to right click, duplicate, keeping it the same in um, height. Then we're just going to go over to the X and Y. We're going to change it to 1.533 and then the Y at 0.973. And it's going to place it here. Then we're going to right click, duplicate. We're going to resize that line to point four eight and then the X we're going to put at 1.837 and then the Y at 1.46 then you're just going to right click duplicate we are keeping everything the same except for the Y we're going to go up to the Y and change it to 2.165 And then the X at 1.837, which was the previous position. So now we have our whole entire mechanism here that we need. So all we'll do is grab it all, come down to the bottom and hit attach. All you're going to do is resize it to 4.193 by 2.879. 
then you can just right click duplicate and you'll have both of those pieces. Let's go to shapes get a square we're going to resize that square to 0 0.306 by three and a half and this is going to use for acetate these three strips. I use three because my acetate that I have is not very strong. We have those three pieces. We can move those aside. Now let's go up to shapes. Let's get this hexagon. Then let's go to shapes again and get this square. We are going to make the hexagon 2.471 by 2.14. Then that square, we're going to take that square and we're going to resize it to 3.792 and in height we're going to make it 0 0.014. And then you're just going to grab them both, hit align and center. And then we're going to come down to the bottom and we're going to hit slice. It looked like it did anything, but it did. We're going to go down to contour and we're going to hide one of these pieces. Um, our piece, let's put it all the way to the top. And my X is on 0 0.028 and my Y is on 0 0.003. And then let's go to the shapes. Let's get this square here. We're going to resize that square to 0.372 by 0.55. And then we're going to center it in the middle at the X at 1.037 and then the Y at 0.959. Then we're going to grab them both and go down to the bottom and hit weld. Then we should have a piece that looks like this. Once we have this piece, we need two of those. So let's right click and duplicate. And then we have our two. And then we can grab them both and move them aside. Now our card base, we are going to be working on it this way this week. And our base is ten and a half by six and a half. We're going to score it in the middle at five and a quarter. And then we're going to grab it both and hit attach. I'm using four sheets of pretty paper. They're going to measure five by six and a quarter. And you'll need four sheets of those. We can group that and then move that aside. Now let's go down here to our images and bring those to the top. Okay, for our pot here, what we're going to use is the smoke out of this. And we're going to put this in the volcano. So all we have to do is go down to contour. And let's hit hide everything. And then click on the smoke here. And then click on the top one. And then we have left is that. And you can cut it out just like this if you would like. But what I wanted to do is I changed this to white. And then I went up to offset. And then changed my offset to change it to 0 0.055. And hit applied. And then we have this background. I chose to do mine in gray to give it just to make it to me look more like smoke and then we can um, group it together the size it is at now is perfectly fine which is 2.27 by 2.996 and that's if you're using both of them whether you're using both of them or not we need to right click duplicate and then we're going to flip and flip horizontal because I want the smoke to be on both sides of the volcano so you don't see the acetate. 
So once we have that, we can group those and move those aside. Okay, the next thing we're going to be working on is the drippings, which is going to be used for the lava. So first thing we're going to do is go to shapes. Let's get a square. We're going to take that square and we are going to make it 0.818 in height. So let's unlock it. 0.818 in height. And then in width, we're going to go 0 0.014. Okay. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees. Then we're going to take that and we are going to go up and place the X and the Y on one. Then let's go to shapes again. Let's get another square. We're going to adjust that square in width to 0 0.017. First unlock it. And then for the height, we're going to make it 2.279. Then we are going to rotate that line 10.18 degrees. We are going to place the X at 0.614. and the Y at 1 and it should line up right next to it very nicely then let's go ahead and just click on this one then right click duplicate then let's go up to flip we're going to flip it horizontal and then we're going to place it on 1.823 for the X and the Y at 1 then what we can do is grab it all and hit weld. Before you go and do a slice on your um, lava, let's go ahead and right click and duplicate so we have a backup one. We have this. This is totally up to you guys. There is no right or wrong way. We can just get creative here. So why we cannot use score lines is because it will not slice through um, anything if we make it a shape or a cut line. So we have to take and make a square into as small as we can get it. Then we would be able to slice through it. So for the shape here is the shape of our volcano that's up here at the top. So I just pick out an area that I like and it needs to be when you go to cut this this line has to just be a little above the drippings to make it slice through it. Okay? So I'm just going to go right there and hit slice. And then if we move it up, we can see that there's two little slits right here. So if we go to contour and then we hide everything but this piece here, we have drippings or lava for our volcano. And it will run very nicely right where we want it. Then what I like to do is go to offset and then let's put it at 0 0.055. Apply and then we can go to the back and change it to orange and let's do the top to a reddish color. Okay, then we can group this together. 
Now you can duplicate this six times. Okay, so our last piece is going to be our volcano piece. So let's go to shapes. We're going to get a square. We're going to size that square to 7.723 by 3.933. We're going to make sure our X and our Y is at zero. All right, let's go to shapes. We're going to get a score line. We're going to go up to operations. We're going to change that score line to a basic cut line. We are going to make that cut line 2.309 in height. We're going to rotate it to 1.36. We're going to place the X on 0 and the Y on 0 0.523. Then let's right click, duplicate. We're going to adjust that score line to 0 0.812. We're going to rotate it 303.13 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.525 and the Y at 0 0.525. Then we're going to right click, duplicate. We're going to rotate that 288.53 degrees. We're going to place the X on 2.199 and the Y at 0 0.961. Then we're going to right click, duplicate. We're going to rotate the line 271.85 degrees. We're going to place the X on 2.963 and the Y at 1.224. Then we're going to right click and duplicate. We're going to rotate that line 75.7 degrees. We're going to place the X at 3.776 and the Y at 1.039. Then we're going to right click, duplicate. We're going to rotate that line 61.05 degrees. We're going to place the X at 4.566, the Y at 0 0.648. Then we're going to right click, duplicate. We're going to rotate that line 45.27 degrees. The X will be placed at 5.27 and the Y at 0 0.069. Then we're going to right click, duplicate. This time we're going to adjust the line to 0 0.446 in height. We're going to rotate it 83.31 degrees. We're going to place the X at 5.829 and the Y at 0 0.026. Then let's go ahead and right click, duplicate. We're going to adjust that line to 0 0.496, and we're going to be placing it right down here. We're going to rotate that line 170.22 degrees. The X we're going to place at 7.622, and the Y at 1.041. Then let's go ahead and come down here and get this line. Let's right click, duplicate it. We're going to make that line 1.686 in height. We're going to rotate it 306.91 degrees. We're going to place the X at 6.273 and then the Y at 0 0.023. Then let's right click, duplicate. We're going to adjust that line to 1.494 in height. We're going to rotate it 225.07 degrees. The X we're going to place at 6.652 and the Y at 1.5. Then let's right click, duplicate. We're going to adjust that line to 1.409. We're going to rotate it to 41.04. The X we're going to place at 5.423 and the Y at 
0.549. Then we're going to right click, duplicate. We're going to make that line 1.464 in height. We're going to rotate it to 56.47 degrees. The X we're going to place at 4.01 and the Y at 3.234. Then let's right click, duplicate. We're going to make that line 1.455 in height. We're going to rotate it 271.65 degrees. The X we're going to place at 2.551 and the Y at 3.541. Then let's right click, duplicate. We're going to make that line 1.433 in height. We're going to rotate it 288.96 degrees. The X we're going to place at 1.179 and the Y at 3.069. Then we're going to right click, duplicate. We're going to make that score line 1.412 in height, rotate it 303.41 degrees, the X is going to place at 0 0.008 and the Y at 2.287. And that we have our whole outline of our volcano. Now what we can do is click on this line at the end and let's right click, duplicate, but then let's go up to operations and change it to a score line. Now we're going to start feeding in our score lines here. So this one is going to be 2.327 in height. We're going to rotate it 25.9 degrees. The X we're going to place at 1.179 and the Y at 0 0.981. Then right click, duplicate. Rotate it 10.42 degrees. The X we're going to place at 2.555 and the Y at 1.243. Then we're going to right click, duplicate. We're going to rotate this line to 354.51 degrees. The X we're going to place at 3.782 and the Y at 1.262. Right click, duplicate. We're going to adjust this line to 2.295 in height. We're going to rotate it 338.04 degrees. The X we're going to place at 4.569 and the Y at 1.079. Then we're going to right click, duplicate. We're going to rotate this line 322.6 degrees. The X we're going to place at 5.249 and the Y at 0 0.66. Right click, duplicate. We're going to adjust this line to 2.351 in height. We're going to rotate it 306.85 degrees. The X we're going to place at 5.812 and the Y at 0 0.083. And then we can grab it all and come down to the bottom and hit attach. And then once we have it attached, it should be looking like this. Okay, guys, so these are all the pieces that you should have to make this pop-up card. Of course, any pieces you would like to add to the front or the inside of your card um, that you would like. Don't forget, let's go up to Save and Name Your Project and then Save It so we have it for later. And that's it guys, so let's go ahead and head over to the table and let's get started. I'll see you there. Alright guys, so the first thing we can go ahead and do is work our score lines on our card. So let's do that. And then we can go ahead and glue our pieces on too. And don't forget, our card is going to be opening this way this week, okay? Okay, guys. Now that we have that done, we can get our volcano piece. And we can work the score lines on it. So let's go ahead and work those. And all of these folds are going to be mountain folds. 
now we can set that piece aside and let's get out our um, mechanism part this you can also get out the uh, hexagon shape piece okay so I'm gonna show you how to do this in case you've not done this piece before so I like to work this in down here and it's going to be a mountain fold and then the top piece also a mountain fold and then we can work the two arms and they too will be mountain folds So you should have something that looks like two arms. And then this next score line, it is a mountain fold also. And then we can jump down to this center piece here, this flap. And it is also a mountain fold. And then we have this little score line on the flap down at the bottom. It's a mountain fold also. And then I like to move him out of the way and then do these score lines on the two legs. So we should have a piece that is looking like this. Okay. Everything is a mountain fold. Now let's go ahead and work our second piece. So once we have it worked, what we can do is we want to make them hug each other. But we want one tab to be at this end and then one tab to be at this end but we're going to turn it around first and we can move these center ones out of the way and what we're going to do is just line these two tabs up here and glue them together so let's do that We want to fold it up and make them hug again. So again, we should have a flap at this end and then a flap at this end. And what we're going to do is put glue on the top here, fold it in, and then glue it to the end. So let's go ahead and do that. If we push it down, it should look like this. But we want to go ahead and push it all the way through, okay? This tab is going to lay on this tab right here. And if you need to, you can draw a line on each side. And we are only going to place glue right here in that section. Okay. And then we can turn it around and do the other side. This piece is all put together now. Now let's put this aside. And before I... put this piece together what I like to do is put the lava on it because it makes it a little easier to me so let's go ahead and we can do that
So once we have um, the lava on, what we can do is go ahead and fold our end piece down like this, this little flap. And then we can fold it to the end and place glue on it and then just adhere it to the side. Then we have our little volcano. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. Now we can put him aside and get our two pieces out and your acetate. If you needed uh, several pieces to make yours a little bit sturdy, now's the time for us to tape them together. Now we can go ahead and work our score lines on right here. And what these are for is to help support our acetate in the center here and the way I did it last time and it seemed to work out okay is um, I put a little tape on the tab here on this tab Place that down and then I put tape on this side and then line this up to each other make sure it's nice and even once we have that placed down we want to place glue just around like the U area. And then you can place that down by matching it up. And then we can put glue on this side and then just fold that to it. You can just fold it up like a sandwich if you want and then to get the glue to stick to the other side. We can just push it up like so and then we have it all complete here so what we need to do to make this set nicely in our volcano because these are on a slant these our mechanism is not so to fix that we're going to go the opposite way this way okay and we're going to line the center squares up with the center ones on the volcano okay And then we're going to take a pencil and we're going to draw a line on whatever is sticking out. Okay? So I am cutting all of this off just with some scissors. And that's going to make the mechanism go up further in the volcano. Okay? So we can take it out after we have our line. So that's my two lines. And just snip it off like that. Okay. So now we can turn this around and stick our acetate through the hole of our volcano and what we're going to do is line this up okay these are going to be sticking out that's okay because when it opens up it goes inside 
what we want to do is put glue on each of the squares we have left. And then we're gonna line it up with the center squares right here and glue it to our volcano. Okay. And I do not go all the way up to this box here. See how it's pushed like that? I like to move mine up just a little so it has some room. So if you notice, there's a, now an edge between this and here. And I just feel like it gives the, the mechanism a little room to move around. And the same on the other side. And put my glue down. And I'm not going to glue all the way down to my score line here. I'm going to keep just a little back from it. And then I'm just going to put it back in there. And I'm really not worrying about these two sides. I'm more concerned of lining this square up with this square here. Okay? On each side. And we have our piece here. So now we can take our card and on our T piece is what we put our glue on. So this T, if you haven't done this mechanism before, and we butt these two pieces up to our score line and place it anywhere in the score line you would like. I'm going to try to center mine. So I think about there. And now what you'll do is just put glue on the T here. Like so. Got this bumped, our legs bumped up to the score line. Glue on the T, and then we're just going to fold our card down. We can turn it over, open it up, put glue on this side, and then fold our card to it. So we can open it up, and there we have it. Okay, now what we can do is get our smoke. You can place it anywhere on your, um, in your volcano. You just want to make sure it can shut and it's not showing. So that would be too high up. So about right there is where we would need to put it. And what I did is just put, I put a little tape on my acetate here just to help hold it so again I'm just going to make sure I have it in the right place so 
so right there is about where I have it. And then with this piece, what I did is just put glue all over on this piece. And there we have it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish decorating the rest of mine and then I will be back. Alright guys, so this is what I come up with. I will always love you. I feel like this is missing something. But I got a question. Do you guys know how a rabbi makes his coffee? He brews it. So then we open it up and it says Lava You. And then we have a place down here where we can write our message. And I just did some bamboo with the tropical flower. And yeah, guys, nice and simple. I might change this up because I feel like it's not quite, it's missing something. What do you think? Well, there you have it, guys. I would love to see anything you guys have come up with. You can always email it to me. But I just want to say thanks so much for crafting with me. And I'll see you next time. Bye.